This is the first video ever recorded on this GoPro, this new GoPro 12. Um, right now, me and Mitch are in my room. But yeah, we're gonna be living together for the next seven months. Fast forward a week later, Mitchell and I were ready to start our road trip. However, we weren't able to find a job. So we decided to take a huge risk and drive across the country unemployed. Over the course of the next few days, we have deep car talks, eat way too many PB&Js, learn how to drift, and make some everlasting memories. And there's only one way to see what happens. Watch along to see how our risky decision plays out in the end. It is, look at this, we're in Nebraska right now. And man, it is, it's kind of a little bit of a blizzard going on. Mitch is a little bit nervous. I'm fucking scared. Oh, uh, this is Mitchell. Uh, by the way, guys, it's been a while. I haven't made a video. I've been at home. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I gotta drive. I'm driving. <laughs> We've, I've, we've off. both been at home, but I've been at home for a while. And, um, you know, Anyone watching, you know, from my Moroccan series, you know, you saw me traveling, backpacking, but the last couple months I've been home, I started a business with a different friend. That went well, but when you get home, you kind of get sucked back into the normality of life, and, you know, it's this weird thing, and I don't know, you get stuck, and it was, it's been hard for me to leave, but, you know, we're finally here, and Mitch is also here with me. Got the hotel. Oh, we've got a hotel. We're gonna go. Our plan is right now to go to Wyoming and we're gonna get a hotel. We've been driving for the last Mitch, how many hours? It's been 16 hours, maybe something like that. We've been driving for a while, had to go get new tires too. This car just got fixed, but yeah, this is Nebraska, guys. For anyone watching, yeah, you can't see anything because literally in a snowstorm. See my Mor yeah, get, I like that close angle. Anyone who was watching my uh, Moroccan videos, there was water right in the middle, which I apologize for. But now we got this new GoPro. Um, you're gonna be seeing a lot of new videos, a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, you're oh, okay. <laughs> on the mountain. Watching the road for you. Can you keep looking <laughs> at the camera. He keeps looking at the camera, and I'm watching the road. Guys, we're safe. We're doing a good mile per hour here. But yeah, a lot of snowboarding video stuff coming. Me and Mitch, we're dri we're living in Utah. I don't even know if you met. Salt Lake that. City. Yeah, we're going to Salt Lake City. We got an apartment there. Oh, you touch it? Yep. Yeah, we got an apartment in Salt Lake City. We don't have a job. We're just driving out there and hopefully we're going to find a job, which I think we will. And then, you know, we're going to be snowboarding and, and going on the mountain the weekends if we don't get a job at the mountain. But, you know, this is kind of like our trip out there, driving out there. But You've missed a lot of the trip. Yeah. But I, uh, we still got a good way to go, right? Yeah, we still have, I think, 10 hours to drive. I don't really want to talk too much in the car because, you know, that's kind of boring. But, yeah, it's been uh, it's been interesting for me in the last couple months. A big learning experience, you know, one of the most important things. Took some time off, but, you know, <laughs> we're back, guys. We're back, so, you know, hopefully you can learn yeah. something. And, you know, probably going to end it here because it is pretty choppy out. Yeah. But, woo! Alrighty, my teeth. I've never tried these flavors. That's why I got them. You want to drive after this? No, do you? I mean, I will. Nah, 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 nah. Taking a break, making some. You gotta have some snacks in the car. Did you show them? Like, did we show them the car? How packed it is? I mean, we're literally. <laughs> this is literally insane. Yeah, with that, dude, but we got it perfect. We can see out the mirror. Barely. Yeah, Barely. But, but... Yeah, it's there. All right, now check this out. Tell them what it is, Vin. This is my homemade jelly. You're, wow, you're getting in there. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch the spoon. <laughs> oh, my God. That's such good jelly. Yeah, that's the homemade jelly I made. You know, I got into health in the last four months. That's what's new with me. Making my own stuff. We got some sourdough bread here. A lot of new health stuff. Yeah. Anyway, PB&J's in the car. And then we're going to go, I don't know. We're at a gas station. And I went to the bathroom and I walk out and Mitchell's phone's in the car and Mitchell's nowhere to be. I asked the guy at the gas station, hey, do you see the kid that was in here? He was like, no. And I was like, the guy that just bought lottery tickets from you, I just saw him. Did you see him? He was like, oh yeah, he walked out the door. I was like, thanks, man. I walk out the door and he's nowhere to be found. And then I hear him go, woo! <laughs> and he's like 100 meters away in the woods. And the guy came back with a crazy story. He saw an Indian on a horse and... It was fucking insane. I just wandered off because I, I, oh, I just knew. I knew where to go and I came back and I just kept saying grandma's house. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, look at this stuff, guys. Vinny's gonna go give it a try. Sunflower seed butter, not almond butter, not peanut butter. This stuff, this stuff's awesome. Give it a try. It's pretty good. It's, it's really pretty good. good. Yeah, it's really good. It's way better for you too. It's good. And seed. what kind of bread? Sourdough bread, baby. Sourdough. Why is sourdough? Why not white Italian bread? Oh my God! Don't even get me started with her <laughs> frying fucking wheat, man. It's so bad. The frying flour is so bad for you. You hear that? Anyway, man. Yeah, it's gonna spike your insulin and do a lot of bad. It's gonna deplete probably probably start a deficiency and this is actually a health channel now no it's not but we're gonna we, we eat a lot of food on this channel in different places so you know there's a hair on this dude you can't eat white stuff guys it's not good for you this is sprouted it's sprouted grains everyone anyone in health knows it's what do you better. mean by white stuff white flour white sugar mm. okay you want your grains to be sprouted if you're making your bread so that's why we got sourdough how did you grow your mustache out so fast is it because of your diet no. You think? I did get a mustache ever since I got that. Can you see it? Oh my gosh. Alright guys, this is first video outside with the GoPro. We're in the middle of nowhere in Nebraska. And uh, it's snowing. I want to be in the car. Cause it's really cold. But Mitch wants to go check out this thing again. So. You know, we're gonna we're gonna check it out. I'm so tired too. We've been driving for the last day. Haven't slept at all. Just on and off a little bit, taking turns driving. Oh, oh. what a breed they were. Those sawed house settlers. Color, creed, possession, ah, do not out. matter. Everyone was poor, but none a pauper. How do you... Can it be they were richer for having little? Can it be they were wiser for knowing less? Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, my slippers on. It's locked up. This Look, is right this outside is the I, gas station. This is what I saw, dude. The Indian. I thought it was an actual Indian on the horse. Oh, I was like, dude, what is that? I was so confused. Ridiculous. I was so confused. This is what I saw. Oh, that's the trail? <laughs> and I was like, I gotta go down it. Wait, where was the blood at? You see these sticks? That's what I was talking about. Oh, dude, this is way longer of an adventure than I thought. Shut up! Ah, I'm so cold! I was about to stroll upon someone living in here for real. <laughs> so cold. Get in there. It might be warm. Oh my god, I'm getting in there. It might be really warm. Oh, you're dirty. Am I? <laughs> I'm warm. Are you? If you had a fire in there, dude, you'd be hella warm. Let me get in there. Dude, I think I'm gonna stay in here forever. <laughs> dude, we gotta go to grandma's house. I really don't want to. <laughs> I gotta go. All right. This is such a bigger detour. We gotta hit the road, man. It actually is warm in here. It is. This is crazy how it works. Ah. I advise you to stay in there. Ah! <laughs> Show it. Grandma's house. Go. We're going to Grandma. Someone is Is that booby trap? There's no shelter. It's open. This is a terrible mistake. <laughs> what is going on here, dude? This is so weird. Why is this here? It's a gas station. All right, guys. I know we're still in the car. Blah blah blah. But look at all this, all these windmills. All right, guys. It's the morning. Um, yeah, we were able to drive, keep driving. We got to Wyoming. Had to take a stop. We we're so tired. Like a day straight of driving. And your mindset changes so much when you're home. It's unbelievable how it shifts. It's like you almost forget everything that you previously did. So all my travels, all my videos you guys already, or, already saw, it was like I never did that to myself. It's like, yeah, I remember them, but I have to think really hard. And this is, it's like this weird phenomenon. I don't know if other travelers experience this. If you do, please comment down below. But I just feel like I get stuck and back into the normality of life. And it's like harder to leave. The longer you stay, the harder it is to get back out there. And I already am just so much happier I'm doing this. I had to leave, you know, some people and some things behind and it's, that sucks but it's a sacrifice I guess and this is what I want to do I want to travel I want to show you guys I want to teach I want to inspire like this is my life I'm confident this is what I have to do it's my purpose um, it just sucks sometimes but to get out of that loop once you're stuck and I was and that's why I haven't gone anywhere in four months and now the winter's finally here something finally clicked in my head it was like what are you doing what are you doing there's this 
there's this balance that we need to have and as humans we need to take risks this realm this life we live in you gotta take risks you gotta love hard and you gotta do stuff that's hard and you gotta try for what you want you gotta go for it you can't be comfortable all the time because then it's just it eats away at you and it's just not it's not how this life is meant to be so we're back at it so if that excites anybody that's awesome it excites me a lot but we're making videos weekly hopefully if not more you guys are going to see what it's like living in the mountains a completely different side of the united states of america and also skiing snowboarding stuff like that so it's going to be fun tune in but yeah we got a little bit more to drive and then we'll be there let's get it i didn't want to film too much in the car because you know it seemed maybe a little bit boring but mitchell made a really good point and i want mitchell to elaborate on it a little bit so Mitchell, if you can drive for me <laughs> and elaborate. Oh, I'm still driving. I can't just take the camera. Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe drive. All right. So yeah, me and Vin were talking about social media and posting and staying consistent and whatnot. And you know, I told him I'm surprised you haven't recorded much at all this road trip because you know we're we're all here. He's here, spreading the message of being authentic and genuine and showing real life in real time. And uh, I was wondering why he hasn't much recorded at all because who just gets up in their car and leaves their hometown and drives across the whole entire country? Not many people unless they actually are going to see family or something. We're just doing it out of the free will because we want to. And so Here. I said it's a, great, it's a great message to show and a great video to post and add to the video if you're being authentic and showing the parts that are even boring. Got a car coming on the left here, keep it right. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's an Audi. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Being authentic and genuine even shows how boring this road trip is, but I think it could, it could spark an idea in people's minds who are watching and kids like us who, who want to do things on their own and in their own time, but maybe they don't know how to or they don't know yeah. where to start and they don't know where to go. And just showing the fact that you can literally get get a friend of yours or not even just on your own. Do a little bit of research, take a little bit of your time to learn some things like a destination, what you need to get there. And then you just do it. We got in a car, we packed it up and we just did it. And now we've been driving for like 20, something hours 26 and, 26 hours and 17 minutes and we're almost there and i couldn't so be close. more excited yeah, yeah mitchell mitchell went to school he went to the american college and you know he had, a, he had a bad experience and he dropped out so you know those words came from mitch's you know that's even powering to maybe some people who are in high school or some people who are in college now yeah. and watching this or you know kind of lost it you really don't you don't gotta be where you think you have to be always no and that that's the same for that's, that applies to literally everybody yeah and you know it is definitely empowering like we, we really don't have a plan i want to make videos like this is what i like doing i'm passionate about it um we don't have a job we're just driving out here we literally have no job we get we're able to get a, an apartment but we have no job really no idea of how we're going to do it but like i was saying earlier in that clip when mr was upstairs taking a shower i was walking around talking about taking a risk man this realm where we live earth guys we gotta take risk it's, it's how it works. If you don't take risks, you're comfortable and you get stuck. And uh, like I was saying, those four months, it was unbelievable. You know, the, the change in my mindset. I learned a lot. I'm so grateful for them, but it knocks me off of my current path for so long. And it's debilitating and it can be really confusing. And I don't know, you don't know until, until you get out of it, until you escape. You're like, wow. So maybe just take this as a message for anybody. I wish I had the scenery a little bit more, but the GoPro is not the best for B-roll, guys. Maybe we had it outside the car. But we're approaching the mountains we're about an hour and a half, hour and a half away from Utah, where we're going. Salt Lake City. Experience. But. Money isn't formal. This, what we're getting is formal. It's real experience. It's real life. And that's what people need more of. They're, they're stuck in the societal experience. They... They want the same experience as everyone else. They're motivated by their friends, they're influenced by their friends, they're influenced by media, by by styles, by looks. But a lot of it is just fake. You can do it behind a camera, it's easy. You can post whenever you wanna post. You, 
you can look however you want to look you can edit whatever you want and it's not real and you can get caught up in that just because your friend's simply doing it or someone you know is doing it and a lot of influencers are just not real they're fake and we follow them and we listen to them and we want to be like them but this right here is authentic they couldn't get more authentic than this. Yeah, guys, you know, it's, it it's real. Yeah, it's a battle that, that we go through, and that's why I hate... I'm not a, I'm not an influencer. I think that's actually really stupid. Yeah. I'm not an influencer in any way. I'm the same as you are. I'm broke. I don't have much money. I have some dreams and some ideas and visions that I want to do with my life. Oh, that was the best part. Hey, I was just thinking to show you guys. This is wow how Dude. I guess we've both been surviving this road trip. But how's this look? Look at You gotta look at it. I'll take a wheel. Oh, fuck. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> That's way too much jelly. <laughs> You're fucking it up. He's been destroying peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I decided to give Vinny this because he's been... No, we actually got it. That's too much jelly, dude. That ratio is terrible. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of bread. <laughs> oh, boy. What? Look at this! That was pure. I didn't even know what to look at. Oh my gosh, man. Look at that, you can actually see really well in the GoPro. I was tripping. It's a new GoPro, guys. I'm not sure, I didn't know you could see this well. I just guess it's good for you guys. Sorry you missed a lot of the road trip. It was really flat, though. Oh my gosh. You're out of your mind. Wow, I gotta get off my phone! Yeah, you gotta take it in, dude. We got some water to sip. Wait, what was the reservoir called? Echo Reservoir. And I have yet to see an animal. Anyone is from Utah or out west, where are where is the wildlife? This is view area. That's really interesting. Like literally, where is we the We have wildlife? no gas. Let's go check. Dude, there's the bird again. I what? just said that. They got these crazy birds here. I don't know what they it's are. It's really a blue jay, bro. A blue jay? Okay, well, guess what? I don't think we have blue jays where we came from. Yes, we do. I never saw one. <laughs> yes, we do. I never saw one. But I wouldn't oh, see why they're all the way over here, too. Dude, it's, it's not as cold either. It feels so much better. Before it was really, really cool, but now it's it's a good temperature. Nike, yeah, we don't have that. It's getting, the mountains are getting so big, guys. I'm thinking like I need to go to the nearest snowboard shop, buy a snowboard, get on the mountain. We are here. And it's insane. There's so many mountains. Oh. Oh. This is the apartment. I don't know which one. Oh, it feels great out here, man. Oh. It's like not even like, it's like. This feels great. Good. <sighs> what? Was that the GoPro? All right, guys, we just got, wow, we were literally right above where we were. Yeah, man. We just got into the apartment. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Wow. So much green. They really don't have those hooks, hook things. Wow. We got the closet right here. This is where we're gonna put the our washer hose. and the dryer in the bedroom. Okay, but there's the closet, the walk-in, you know. This is where we're gonna put the hose. Ah, oh, nice. And it goes right into the bathroom. Pretty crazy. Oh wow, they have a. Hoss, oh, so you see that train? Oh, we're gonna be on that train, baby. We're on that train. Yeah, see where that takes us around the city. So we realized the best way to get this stuff out of the car is to, one, I thought, okay, let's use the skateboards, right? And then one person, me, come to the car, take the stuff out of the car, run it all the way down there on the skateboard. That's a genius idea, but it works so well. It's such a good idea. You go with it. He's loading, unloading the car, taking it over to the closest wall, to the closest door. And I'm hauling it upstairs. He himself had to go to the bathroom so bad. I was like, all right, Vin, do your business. I'm gonna be down there getting more stuff. I get to the elevator, I get a call. Mitch, I'm gonna need you to find napkins in the car. We got, <laughs> buddy forgot we just moved in. We haven't gone shopping. We don't got toilet paper.
This is all I got. A brown paper bag. Vincent? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. How you doing in there, big boy? <laughs> yeah, I think I found you something. Out of here, dude. There's gotta be something else in here. <laughs> hey, I think you got any napkins. We don't have any napkins. You gotta go to Metro, dude. You gotta find napkins. It was crazy, but. Dude, do you know how to get uh, this bar off? And now we got all this stuff. I brought everything in from the car. Just clip it. Back to this OG. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hoss, what you holding there? A fucking L. <laughs> Mitchell has a piece of wood with him because he lost his screws for his desk, so we gotta go test out. I, I thought it was a good idea to bring it with us to test out the actual piece of it each time. That makes a lot of sense. Also, look at this. A little coffee shop right here. That's intriguing. Mm -hmm. And contradicting. So I don't know what we're gonna... Dude, I saw them earlier. I wonder if they're just taking laps. <laughs> <laughs> this is... There's one of the... Underground things. But we're, yeah, this one's heated. We're gonna go get... It's also so many bikes. We're gonna go get some food. Out here walking the streets. Psych. We're just gonna come get this food truck right here. First place we're eating is food truck. Colombian. Yes. Pollo, por favor. First day, it's, it's a snow squall. What? What is the snow squall? This is a snow squall. It was just lightning and it's storming. I think you should get. Dude, up. I, I feel like get on top of the, on top. If I'm gonna right be now. in your YouTube get videos so much. You gotta explain to the people who are gonna be watching why my name's Haas and how it came to be. You should do it on top of there. You oh shit! Get, in there. get up there in the snow squall and tell them why you're Haas. <laughs> I don't. Oh, you guys want to know why I'm Haas? This is why I'm Haas. Let's go, baby. We're in a fucking snow squall. It's Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm getting absolutely fucking destro destroyed by the snow, but this is what it's all about. I'm spinning everywhere. Woo! <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> it's a snow squall. You gotta try that. Uh, take the wheel. Crack <laughs> <laughs> shack. Oh, what the fuck is that? Yo, we got the You got the shake shack and crack shack. That's my time. <laughs> the crack shack <laughs> right uh, next to the. Sh Dude. To the steak shack, or what was it called? Shake shack is shake shack is probably <laughs> shake shack next and to and crack shake. shack. Oh, cheesecake factory, bro. It started off as Big Hoss, Biggie Hoss. Vin just started calling me it, and and then it stuck through high school, through like senior year, junior year. I don't remember. And everybody calls me it. I love it. First grocery store we're at. Dude, you might like this cameraman better than vlogging. I don't know. I don't think I'm a big cameraman guy. It looks so good. <laughs> it looks awesome. I love it. Him, he's gone. <laughs> come They're on, gone. come back. Yeah. That's what you do. It's the thing you do. I'm it's telling you. It's what you do. You just drift. When there's snow, you just drift. It's exactly <laughs> what I was just doing right before. And this just... guy comes up and goes, watch this. <laughs> and he just starts ripping donuts <laughs> Look at on me. circles. You can't see him on camera, but he just starts Tell drifting. Tell me this guy's going to start drifting. <laughs> oh, he's actually. like <laughs> <laughs> That was hilarious. He just starts doing donuts. Give me this thing. I can't believe it. Oh, he's. <laughs> <laughs> it's what you do. It's what you do. If you got a turn, if you have a turn, you might as well just rip it. It's literally what I was thinking. I got a turn right here. I'm gonna rip it. Why wouldn't I? I? Get behind the wheel. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, now nah, Mitch is gonna take this in. Uh, we just got all our groceries. I was we were in there for like an hour. It was awesome, going through all this stuff. But we got to go find Mitch some screws. So we're we're at Home Depot. But man, Salt Lake City is turning out. First couple hours here, 
It's, I don't know, it's seeming awesome. <laughs> it's seeming awesome. <laughs> Watch this. We got a big open parking lot over there. We got a big parking lot and we're going there and we're going to show you guys. Hello. Uh, don't know about it. <laughs> okay, I'm giving Joe a call right now. Home Depot could be the place to work. Home Depot might be the place to work. After that, <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? They're everywhere. <laughs> Joe, Joe, you're on the vlog, man. Say what's up. Yo, hello. What up, vlog? What up, vlog? Hey, Joe's in Florida. Hey, Joe, so I just wanted to tell you something real quick. I also got a question. You know, it's snowing. It's, oh. what is it called? What is it called, the thing that's snow happening? Snow squall. A snow squall. Do you know what that is? Snow squall? Oh, yeah. It's a, I, we pull up into a, so, a snow squall here. It's just, you it's can't like, see it's anything. A, it's, it's, a, just, it's just, it's a blizzard. It's literally a blizzard. But with like a lot of wind. Yeah. And oh, you know. Okay, okay. We're going to Home Depot. We just went to the grocery store because Mitch has got this thing. He needs to get some, uh, hits his desk. He needs to find screws that match it. But you know, there's so much snow on the ground. And I'm like, oh, I gotta get into the parking lot. So I started ripping some small drifts because why would I make a turn and not rip a drift when there's snow everywhere? Fair enough, yeah, that's what I'm... Some truck comes over, sees us. He pulls up to us, him and his friends. And he's like, he pulls the window down. He's like, watch this. And they just start ripping donuts everywhere. <laughs> and I told Mitch, I was like, this is what we do. This is what you he do. He was literally telling me, like, right before the dude pulls up, he was like, that's just what we do out here. We just start drifting. You drift for fun. You go drifting. <laughs> you, you always do. And then these guys just pull up, all windows yeah. down. They're all smiling, heads out. They're just having life. And another guy, he leaves the parking lot. How does he get out of the parking lot? There's he a turn. The he just rips a corner and drifts it. Yeah. 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 Okay, so the principle of drifting, I'm very new to this, by the What's way. What's up, bro? Chipotle. You're and no, it's funny, he's yeah. on a 10 minute break right now. The, the, the principle. <laughs> We're from PA. Turn and accelerate, okay? That's all it is. Yeah. Watch this shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> Alright. Turn it. My, my wheel's all the way to the left. Uh huh. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> These are what parents pay for out here <laughs> for their kids to be able to drift. <laughs> Wow, dude, he's ripping gnarly drifts. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, if he comes in this bitch, he can't. Dude, he's, he's a risky drifter. He's a, risky, he's a risky he's one. A wide drifter. He's a wide drifter. I don't know about that. <laughs> you should not have had my fucking window down. <laughs> so look, at, look at the inside of my fucking so car. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> Dude, you're a wide drifter. You get close to those fucking things. Oh, no, bro. Oh, you're no. scaring me. You get close to them. Dude, I'm covered in snow. <laughs> What's your name, bro? What was that? Corey. Yeah. Corey. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, I make YouTube videos. Sick, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are from PA? Yeah. What are you doing here? Dude, we just moved here. We just did a road trip across the country. Oh, fuck yeah, bro. That's sick. We're trying to get jobs. We have no idea where to work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't work at Chipotle, bro. He used to oh, work there. Dude, oh, yeah? tell him about your carpal tunnel. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. You ever feel the pain in your wrist from scooping so much? A little bit, yeah. Well, that's what I'm fucking dude, saying. Dude, he's still dealing with the I'm pain. I'm still dealing with it. <laughs> All right, so to, to hit a drift, if you're going to hit like a good, like a wide drift. Dude, um, I don't know. You're getting a little too wide. No, no. Just, What's just the up? principle. <laughs> yeah. So you wanna you wanna I'm counter wanna steer, okay? Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna steer a little bit in the opposite direction that you wanna drift. And I then wanna see more of you. you wanna whip it to the other side. You wanna whip it to the Where? other side and stomp on it. So right. like example, like if you're 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 going straight, you're going straight. You go straight for the left or do you counter steer first? Or you go so straight left? If you're if you're if you wanna drift that way, yeah. you do a little counter steer small. Counter okay? steer a little just right. A little counter steer. And then minimal acceleration uh -huh. and then whip it to the left and then rip and it stomp on it uh -huh. and, and then just let it go and your tires will break traction you'll slide i'm so fucking cold right now <laughs> so, dude, i understand <laughs> hey ha have a good shape good rest of your shift man <laughs> hey if you guys are still here like um at like 10 i'll be back <laughs> i don't oh. think we're gonna we got food in the car we gotta right. do <laughs> good oh, looks nice though you, yeah bro. thank you, yeah, you all right Pause. It's time to drift, baby. You gotta hit the gas. You gotta, you gotta slam it. Should I? Yeah. You gotta hit it. It'll be so sick. I hope this goes well. Do it!
Here I come! <laughs> All right, it is the morning. Um, I think it's like a nine. I've been up for a little bit. I stretched out. Yeah, that was really it. We did some stretching. Um, we have this sick view over here. Check this out. Right out the window. It actually is pretty good. Yesterday we were bashing it, but it's pretty good. And you can tell we put up, put up some stuff. We got my desk over here. We got a TV over here. Mitch's desk. Put some stuff up in the kitchen, in our room, in the closet, all the clothes. But yeah, now we got some breakfast, some oats and bananas, and yeah, I guess we're gonna go around today and try to find some jobs. Go check out the city, maybe go get some more supplies that we need. We need to get chairs, that's the one thing we don't have. And then yeah, I guess we're gonna go explore and kind of figure that out. See if we can start applying to some places and get the ball rolling here. But yeah, get some breakfast, Mitch is still sleeping. We're at the Black Cherry Market. We're at the Black Cherry Market. This, we just got back, we went to Walmart to get some like, uh, Essentials. Essentials, you know. House goods. House stuff, yeah. House supplies. We're at this Mediterranean market. I didn't I didn't film in there. Everything's like in Arabic. It's awesome. I got some of these dates. Wee! Oh, Mitch has got this crazy this what is this sauce called? Let's <laughs> <laughs> smell it. Oh, that smells gas. You gotta mix it up. I think correct me if I'm wrong, these are called Medjul date med medjul? Med I don't know. But they are insane. I've never had them before. So good. So sweet, but Mitch has got some of this pita stuff in there. They got lamb in there. They got tzatziki sauce. They got. They have literally everything. All these teas. I couldn't read anything. I gotta do research when I go back. Oh yeah, mix it up in there. Oh my god, let me get one of them. Oh, it's thick. It looks watery. It's oh my god, thick. this looks so gas. Huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh shit! <laughs> mm. I go. Well, you can't see it, but it's kefir, kefir cheese from a goat or kefir, however you want to say it. Um, so it is dairy, but you know, it's tr I trust the source. It's so good. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna snack on one more of these dates. You want one? They're just like I got to I got sauce on you. Oh, we have to go to the mountain today, too. Mmm. I, I, I think that had weed in it. <laughs> I think the dip had weed in it. it. It literally tasted like pack, too. You think so? A tiny bit. I didn't taste any of that. The, the chives or whatever. It just tasted... Dude, imagine. We have new favorite store. <laughs> I'm fried. I don't smoke weed anymore. I used to smoke weed like a chimney, but... <laughs> I don't smoke anymore. Or but vape. Or nicotine. He's a new man. It's terrible for you. It is terrible for you. Yeah, anyone watching, look, you guys gotta stop doing it or you need to look into what you're doing. A lot of the young people I'm talking about, especially. Yeah. You're not even, you don't even know what you're doing to yourself. Not at all. You gotta, you gotta really do your own due diligence before you... Anything that doesn't put nutrients in your body, it takes it out. And remember, anything can cause anything. Health is a serious thing. All right, guys, just wanted to show you. Look at these. Look at these. What? These mountains, man, they are huge. They are absolutely huge. I want to see, want to see a bear, maybe an elk, maybe a cougar. I want to see not a bear. I don't want to see a cougar either. Those are animals I never want to see. They would eat us. Maybe a mountain goat. I would want to see a, yeah, yeah, mountain goat would be, mountain goat would be sweet. Well, what do you think of the mountains, man? They're making you, uh, you know. They're making me tired. I'm tired. Nah, that was the bison we just ate. I'm pretty tired, too. We're pulling up to the mountain, and then we're demanding a job. Right? Illinois! Illinois! Haas, that's right, right? Um, demanding a job, more like, please give us a job! No, hey, I'm here. I'm ready to work tomorrow. And then they're gonna be like, okay, you need to apply. Like, no, we already applied to every single position. You haven't responded to us. Okay, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, so that's the plan. A buffalo soldier in the heart of America. 
He was a buffalo soldier. Rich blah rasta. And hopefully we can get a job or we have some good updates here. But these are the Cottonwood Mountains, I believe. Big Cottonwood Canyon. Um, yeah. They're freaking massive, man. Oh my gosh. It's getting choppy out. As soon as it's getting closer to the mountain, we're 15 minutes away, I think. Actually, let me check. 12 minutes away. Some insane peaks and mountains and rocks sticking out on our way there. Mitch got some on his phone video, but we got some fresh powder, we got some fresh trees, and we got snow falling. I am so stoked. <laughs> oh my god, he's sliding down. <laughs> yeah, these houses are epic. Alright guys, we just got here. There's so much snow, barely got to this spot. Look how much snow is on the ground. Unlock it, eh? Yeah. Alright guys, here we, this is inside of one of the lodges. We just went and talked to some, I don't know, like guest services and then we talked to the rental department and, you know, put our names down and show up in person. Now we're going to go run over to this lift department and... They come here and demand a job. Yeah, well, we're... No, we're, we're begging. No, we're not begging. Look at that, little We're not begging at all. Yeah, we're going to go over and we're going to talk to them and we're going to see if we can make something happen, but this resort's fucking sick. In the trap. <laughs> Networking at its finest. Absolutely. Wait. What's it say on this door that we just walked in? Yeah. Employees only. And we just fucked. went straight into it. <laughs> Don't go upstairs. Do not enter. Entered right through it. Guys, though, we pulled up in person. We networked. We talked. Met some hands. Saw some faces. They're hiring. Absolutely. Didn't hit us online. Look at this. Look at this place. Getting abs this is where we need to be. It's getting pounded. It is getting. I'm about to jump in the snow. It is literally getting pounded. That's literally the trap house too. That is the perfect vibe, dude. That's trap house. Even though we're gonna, I don't even know what the job is. And we might have some nights, but we said fuck it, we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> three, not, three, three to nine is not bad at all. I thought he meant like overnight. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> And Mitch was like, oh yeah, we can do it. I was like, fuck Mitch. <laughs> I don't know if we can do it. We can do fucking anything. But simply, they're getting blasted here. This is this is where we belong. Our pass gets us a like, shuttle thing every day. Simply, he, he basically gave us a green light to get hired, if I heard it correctly. This is what's up. All right, guys. Well, that's huge. I thought I had snow in my mustache. That's huge. Basically, just confirmed, got a job. For the most part, yeah. Literally, I mean, he, he, didn't, he didn't say, What are you fucking up here for? He said, Hey, Dope. look, yeah, Dope. It, I said, We'll see you soon. He said, Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. All right, I think me and Hoss are gonna be shoveling. <laughs> I think we're gonna be, out, we're here. Gonna be out here shoveling with fucking green vest on, <laughs> doing who knows what, but they're hiring. Fuck yeah, baby, let's go. Here. That's what happens. You take a risk, you meet some people, shit works out. If you stay home, be scared and stay comfortable. Nothing will work for you. Nothing will happen. Great lesson. You have to go for it. It took literally like five minutes. You have to just put an effort in. It's life, man. You got. It's how I told you earlier in the car. This is the realm we live in. You must take risks. You cannot be comfortable. Nothing's gonna come your way. There's a balance to it. You have to understand it and you have to manifest it, boys. You, you, you. I'm about to be on the mountain here soon, baby. Let's go find a board. <laughs> I want to get a discount. Let's go to a ski shop. Fuck them all. No, dude, we want to. We want to get a discount first. Oh, true that. We'll get a, like a fat discount on all gear and stuff, man. Let's go. That gear was crushed. Ah, oh, let's go, man. We gotta be on the mountain. I forgot, man. I can't be working in fucking Target. I'm looking forward to doing drifts on my break. That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> That's not it. I don't want to do that. That's not my life. I'll be on the mountain, baby. Woo! Car snacks. Did you eat that premium J? <laughs> Where the hell did you pull that from? My it wasn't ass. even a bag. It was my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh, dude. Right on my GoPro. Wipe it off. It's so bad. Damn, Are we man. actually approaching it. Look at this. This could be dangerous. It's an epic bend. It was hard without snow on it. Yeah, without snow on it, Vinny was still having 
it was still uh, you know weird to go up but oh wow we are yep we are inbound and I'm glad I'm recording this cuz yeah you I been. wouldn't want to be behind the wheel what <laughs> Utah is just straight yellow and red roads because of the weather it's ridiculous me and Mitch are uh, walking we're gonna go bowling but we're taking the train this train is literally our apartment's right over there, so it's... We have one of the train stations so close, which is so awesome. And I love trains, and I want to go see the big city, like the big city part of Salt Lake. So we're going to go bowling, but the train should be passing through that area. Here's a meeting. I love trains. I could just be yeah, on them and stare at them. Yeah, it was sweet. The mountains were there. I didn't have the best seat, but... Wow. Well, they're just surrounded by mountains. Dude, that's actually crazy that they have free fares. They probably barely even check them if they have that many free... Oh, hello, puppy. Well, I just found out. Oh, my eyes are all off the wrong place. Mitch, why didn't you tell me? Um, yeah, so they have free fares on the trains. Like certain zones are free. So you just, we hopped on where we got on from our place. It's free up until like the beginning or like the middle of the city. But they didn't even come check after and we just stayed on. But the fact that, I mean, Utah for the people, just free fares, that's epic. It's white snow. <laughs> I can't believe that actually. We're going bowling now and then I'm gonna try to call that lady again. Maybe I can get it on camera to see what she says. Maybe she'll hire us hire us, us like that. But she didn't answer when I called, so maybe she works the night shift or something. I don't know. Also there's night skiing here, which is I thought was the only East Coast thing, but I guess not. So we might be working the night shifts, but that's like from three to nine, which is epic. So We'll see here. Hoss is trucking along. He's thinking. Who knows what he's thinking? He's quiet. He's got something going on in his head. Uh, yeah, we can actually start as soon as possible. We just got up here yesterday or two days ago, and uh, we moved into an apartment, and we need jobs. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, when would you be able to start? Would you be able to start tomorrow? Let's do it. Hello? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Totally. Uh, okay. I think I cut out maybe. Yeah, if you want to do that, both of you guys can come in and you can chat with me. We can do some paperwork and get you sorted and then we can get you going. Yeah, and what time do you want us there? Um, let's shoot for, um, let's see. Uh, why don't we shoot for 2? Yeah, 2 p.m. That sounds great. Okay, we'll be there. Plan, plan worked out. Mission Impossible. Feasible. Let's go. Very possible, yeah. Let's go. And I'm going to the College of University of Utah. Oh, Mitch will decide while I was in the bathroom that he's going to Utah. I'm going to find myself a Japanese lady. All right, guys. Decided to not film anything inside there because they were playing music and I would get copyrighted. But it was fun, pulled a couple games. It was free too. For some reason it was free. Gotta love Salt Lake. But that's it, you saw we came out here with no job, just, you know, the vision. And within two days we put it together and now we have a job, we have a place to stay, and we're loving it. So a lot more to see from us, but this is the first video of us escaping Go you! <laughs> you just named this campus, but Mitch, you escaped the you you escaped being stuck at home. Any last words to end this video? Get out of your hometown. Why? Why? What if I like my hometown? I want to be there forever. Commenter said that. Just imagine. Well, why you may ask to get out of your hometown? One. No new experience comes from your hometown. Two, you're gonna be depressed. Three, 
live life a little bit, take a risk, simply. It's pretty plain and simple, honestly. I could go farther in depth with it, but it's pretty plain and simple. Fair enough. See you in the next video. Ah!